Okay, so here's where we're at with our shotgun. We are, we've got it all assembled and detailed, and now we're putting the top barrel in where we're going to mount our LEDs as well. <clears throat> so, this is your, uh, your cardboard tubing, that's inch and a half cardboard tubing. Uh, you cut it to the length, uh, I'll tell you in the patterns, and then slice it down the middle like a fish. And then we can open it up and that's going to wrap around the end of our shotgun. Just like so. See, it goes on there, and then you put this will wrap around it. All right, so this here, there's a template in the patterns for, for these. Uh, for game accuracy, we've got 15 of them. <clears throat> and we take a little while. Uh, you just cut them out with a hot knife is the easiest way. And then once you've got them all cut out, you'll have little burrs and whatnot in there. So I take the soldering iron with no tip in it, just the round hot part should be enough. And if you inspect them and you find any burrs, then you can put it in there and clean it up a bit. And that'll also give you the nice rounded uh, parts. It looks more factory because it follows the roundness of this instead of the roundness of your hot knife cut. Which, trust me, no matter how steady your hand is, you can't seem to get them just round. And there's that many of them going to be noticeable. So that's a little trick there with the burning kit. So once you've got uh, these cut to length, this here, I've left mine a bit long, I'm just going to cut it off at the end so it's uh, dead on accurate. And then you just get it on there like so, line it up, and then glue it in place. Okay. What I like to do is to start it. Oh, hot glue gun on hot. Uh oh. Alright. Okay, so I've got it held down where I want it here. I got the uh, piece of foam underneath. And then I got the cardboard ready. It's all lined up, so when I push down, it, uh, it should stick on. So I'm going to do this in two sections. I'm going to do this to about there, and then I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do the other half of it. All right. So all I'm going to do is get myself a nice, I just want a nice even length of glue, about half the length along. Nothing spectacular. And then I'm going to take my ruler. And then push down on it. And I'm going to hold it on the count to 30. And around there. Make sure that that lines up good. Good on the end. Good. Now, I don't know if that was quite 30 or not. But hey, who's counting? Okay, I got it a little bit crooked. Now, the good thing about the foam is it's somewhat malleable, so it really molds and forms to however you're, uh, however you're pushing on it. Heat makes it good. So here we're going to do the same thing. Get ourselves ready to push down on it. Make sure that it's lined up properly. That looks good. There. Get some glue in there. And again, you don't have to put huge amounts of glue on. It. What can happen is the glue can bubble underneath. It can, if it hardens to a big chunk, then it can push up on your thin foam. Give it an uneven look. 
We don't want that. Okay. Not nicely on there now. Not coming along. Okay, so once you've got it, once you've got your edge glued on there nicely, then you <laughs> time for it to set. Not like me, being impatient here. Make sure that you I always recommend making sure that glue is set. Okay, then what you want to do here, <clears throat> don't use too much glue for this next section. You don't need a lot of glue. You know, it's gonna it's gonna stick on there nice. And then once you paint it, your paint's going to go into all the little cracks in there. You can black wash it if you want with the paint. And, uh, yeah, too much glue and you're going to have all kinds of uh, junk in there that you're going to have to clean up later. So we don't want to have to do a whole lot of clean up on it. So, let's start at one end here. Let's get some real good light. That look? Ooh, ooh, that's nice and bright. All right. So we're just gonna get some glue going in there, all the way along that seam, and then a little, just a little bit along each. Now you gotta be fairly quick because you don't want your your glue to set on you before you can get on there. So let's get on there and press it down. Use Push down on it nicely. Set in place. So, we do some close ups there. You can't really see much glue gushing out anywhere. I can see little strands. Those, those disappear. Yeah, so we got a couple little strands as we were going. Not a big deal at all. Okay. So that's looking good. Here we go. Next, same thing. I'm going to just get a little bead going right there. And around the edge we go. Around the edge we go. Around the edge we go. Again, you can use your ruler. Screw it down. Okay. So, I'm just going to carry on with the blue one. Get a nice bead in there. And then we'll just do each of these halfway again. Pretty good. Let's do them halfway.
Good. Don't really have any excess glue anywhere. It's all nicely stuck down. So let's finish it off. looking barrel <laughs> no. so, then like I said I'm just gonna trim off my excess foam here the thin crafting foam very nice. There we go. You know, just really, uh, you just cut it with scissors. Works nice with a knife. Yeah. Very good stuff. Sweet. Okay. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Alright. Okay. That was easy.